Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh under here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the incredibly emotional Untitled Darkness. Now, this was developed and published by 8-Bit Pixel Games, Pixel or PXL Games, sorry, and is available for a sensationally small £3.29 slash $3.00.99. So we play as a tall slender looking man, so let's call him uh, Slender Larry. Uh, <laughs> but in the game, we see SL struggle with depression as his whole life is a continuous up, but a lot more down, and leaves him feeling powerless. It's such a huge, strong message that basically depression is like this silent enemy, can creep up on you at any time, and really doesn't get treated as seriously as other illnesses. Now, this is a very short game with very easy achievements. We basically need to walk from left to right, interacting with doors, and then two small scenes in each room. Uh, there's six rooms altogether, each with an achievement tied to it. Now, we need to play through the game twice, which is why you see this guide being about 30 minutes. It's a two-fold playthrough run, so you can walk along with me experiencing this. Again, with the two endings we need, basically, it's one for interacting with three beams of light through the game, the other for not interacting with any beams of light at all. So, as I said, around half an hour, it's slow-paced, so we can do this one together. And, with that being said, then... Let us begin. So there's no um, pause menu or anything like that. We're just going to press the A button to begin. <clears throat> now, I feel like a lot of people can relate to uh, every scene that we, we're going to see. It's very... It, the gameplay is very simplistic. It is literally just walking from left to right uh, looking at scenes. But I, I feel like a lot of people can relate to this. Or at least some of these. And if you can't relate to any of these at all, then... Honestly, you are extremely lucky. But as the first scene ends then, what we're going to do, it's going to go to black and then that's it. Game finished. Well done. Another Jetalon 1000. It, well, that would be. Uh, but as we start, uh, start walking to the right and press the A button next to this beam of light. We're going to look up at it and that's all you've got to do. Uh, and that, That's basically just you interacting with said beam of light. Now, you can't just pick any door willy-nilly. As you can see, you can press the A button next to this door to interact with it, but you'll see it's locked. So, we literally need to go from left to right. Uh, press the A button next to this big door in the middle right here. This is the first and only missable achievement of the game. Not that easy. And then we can move on and open up the door to the left. Now, this is basically, it. like I said, in terms of gameplay, what you need to do is press the A button and interact next to the shimmering people right there and then a short scene possibly around 20 to 30 seconds will play out and then we just do the next one in the room and then move on it is that kind of gameplay So, like I said, as soon as that one finishes then, walk to the right, interact with the next shimmering scene, and, well, <laughs> like I said, be prepared to hit them feels. A lot of these hit way too close to home, personally, which, um, <laughs> yeah. This, now, this was a, a part of my childhood as well, except my dad was a bit more naughty, 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 naughty. Uh, still, <laughs> bloody sad time. And so then, that is how the rooms play out. So, as soon as the first memory unlocks right there, um, now again, what you'll see, you, you can try and interact with the door on the left, but once again, as you can see, that one is locked. So it is literally, we are having to go from left to right, to right to left, to left to right, until we interact with and smash out a Rooney all six rooms. So, well, you know, just keep walking. That's, that's, that's pretty much it there with our, our three-fingered alien hybrid hands, which always makes it super cool. Slender Larry is... I know he's feeling a bit down and depressed, but he does look pretty cool as a Slender Man with those uh, alien hands. So, again, we're into room two now, so obviously interact with the shimmer and shine. Ah, 
And then, of course, just interact with the other shimmer and shine in the room. Now, honestly, I don't care if you're a father or if you're a mother, anyone, don't care who you are. If you do that to a child, that is, that's just scammetry at its finest. If you just purposely decide not to see a child just because you don't want to, or, oh, you know, I'm busy and I want to get off my face this weekend, it's just scammetry. Just, I, just, I couldn't imagine doing that to my kids, personally, but, you know, each to their own with that one. Uh, now, obviously, like I said, it is just a case of walking all the way back to the left. Uh, now and again, our friend Larry will come up with little bits of dialogue like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, we, again, we can just keep on walking. So that is, uh, like, basically it. Really. I'm pretty sure you're uh, used to the game already by now. Now, if that was me asking a girl out, I tell you what, I would be getting more of a poke to the eye or a slap to the nuts, um, rather than someone actually going out with me. And that is why Tinder was invented, <laughs> for, for the average looking Joe like myself. Um, <laughs> yeah. But hey, I'll tell you what, Slender Larry had some goddamn good confidence. Apparently women like that. That's a, a thing I read once. <laughs> Ah, right, the old, uh, oh, you're just too nice. So, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to throw a microwave at your head? Like, would that make you love me again? Do you, do you know what I mean? Anyway, obviously, again, we're just walking back to the right uh, to go to the next room. Larry's getting married, but I don't know where to put the ring finger. We, we've only got two fingers and a thumb. Which which one's the ring finger? Honey, honey, which one is the ring finger? Anyway, Larry's getting married. See, it's a continuous bump of ups and downs. And personally, I think when you're on such a high, if you've suffered with depression before, like, I can't personally begin to say I completely understand, like, what some people go through. Some people have gone through it just horribly. But, you know, we've all been there when we've had this massive high, and then it just comes crashing down. There's literally no middleman. It just comes crashing down on the ground. And then you end up, you know, feeling like this. Feeling like we're not lovable, or feeling like... You know, we cannot escape this darkness. It, it has happened to the best of us. Even if you don't want to admit it has, we, ha we have all had such a big downer from when we've been on such a big upper that it, it just feel like the world just wants to swallow you absolutely whole. 
and it is it's 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 brilliant. I really I really like how this game has captured that essence, how it's hit home, and it will hit home with a lot of people. But it's captured the darkness, and it's captured how a lot of people have felt in pre you know previously, and even now, it, it has captured it well. So you know, kudos there to Tom, the actual creator of the game. But um, it's still a, it's still a bit it's still too goddamn emotional. But as we get into this next room, before you interact with the shimmering light on the left hand side, there is another beam of light that we need to interact with. You have to interact, like I said, with all three beams of light to get the light ending. So walk past old shimmer and shiny, interact with the light. You only have to do it once, you don't have to do much. The achievement should unlock for us here as well. Focus on the light. And that is very good advice as well. If you're ever in a dark place, try and focus on the light. Although, again, that is probably easier said than done, but... So we're having a baby, then you want a divorce. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's a constant gut punch. I tell you what, it genuinely feels like your nuts are just being twisted all the time. And then they're being released and they're being... It's a horrible thing. It's like having your balls in a vice grip. And then it let, lets go. And then it has it back in a vice grip. So up and down. And it is a disgusting feeling. It is one of the worst feelings. And after this bit, walk past the shimmer and shine again. There's going to be a third beam of light on the end here. So again, just make sure to interact with this one. And then after doing that, as soon as we finish the game, that is what it will get us the first ending. And then, like I said, we'll have to play through it again without interacting with any of the beams. And then that'll be the 1,000 out of 1,000 in about half an hour. Tidy.
And there we go then, that is all six rooms done. All we got to do now is just walk to the middle door and that is the first game complete. Busting out some moves right there. No, um, it's... Uh, again, a lot of people are going through this and there's a lot of people that are just stuck in that limbo. They don't want to live, but they don't want to die. Like... No, I don't think anybody can imagine or even begin to try and understand someone who's going through that dark place. But, you know, there is always help out there. There is always help out there. So just interact with the door here and that will be the end of the game. Like I said, we'll just have to play it through one more time. But if you are feeling depressed or if you are feeling like you can't go on or... You know, any just bad feelings or any bad thoughts that you may get, remember there is always help. There are tons of hotlines, which I will put in the description box um, below. Um, but there's always phone numbers you can use, you can ring. There will always be people that you can talk to online if you don't like talking to people. I'm not a big people person talker, talker or two myself. Uh, but yeah, so just... Uh, press the pause button, by the way, and then you can return to the start menu with no issues. And then you can just press the A button to start again. But please, do not feel like you're alone. If anyone ever feels like you're alone or you can't go on, do it. either ask friends or family for help. If you don't want to speak to friends or family, there is literally tons of other people that you can talk to online. Like I said, I'll put everything in the description box below anyway. But one more thing I will say about it. Please do not feel like a burden. I've been there myself. I've literally suffered in silence. And uh, I, d I didn't tell anyone my problems. And then they called me an idiot for not telling them sooner. Which is true. So never feel like you're going to be a burden. Even if you're just depressed about what might be the, the most menial thing to you. It just isn't. People will always want to help you out. So please, please, please. Always tell your family and friends, if you're feeling low, feeling depressed, just talk to someone. Do not suffer alone. So as we begin the second uh, game, it is exactly the same. Sorry, I know I went on for a, a good couple of minutes there, but I always feel it's important to get a message such as um, when it comes to depression and mental health. So important to get a message across there. But again, nothing's changing in this playthrough. The rooms were exactly the same, so we're just going from le left to right to right to left, etc, etc, without interacting with the beams of light this time. So just remember, do not interact with the beams of light, just walk straight past, and then just get to the end, and then as soon as you get to the end, the middle door, you should get the achievement for getting the second ending. But obviously I'm not going to be speaking now, we're just going to walk along with it perfectly, and uh, complete this together.
So that's room six done then. Now, like I said, all we got to do then is just interact with the middle door, unlock the final achievement, providing you haven't interacted with any of the beams of light, and that will unlock the full, full achievement and get that one completo. So I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to leave the final cutscene in, um, but I'm going to just quickly say my taras right here. So again, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope any advice that I've given might be small, but I hope it has helped. Um, hope you've enjoyed the guide as well. You know, we have a little couple of laughs as well in such a uh, dark game. Um, but it, again, hopefully that, you know, any time or anyone that feeling, or any time anyone is feeling any low, remember there is always help out there. So do not suffer in silence. Somebody loves you. Everyone you know bloody loves you. So, yeah. There we go then. So I'm going to head off then, guys and gals. Thank you so, so much for watching. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the uh, channel. Especially those on Patreon. Big, big thank you so, so much. Don't forget, of course, to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. But thank you guys and gals again. See you in the next one. Big love.